Hello children how are you all I hope you all are doing good Today I am going to bring you your first maths lesson in your maths book that's numbers This lesson belongs to your first mid term In this lesson you will be able to count from 1 to 10 count the different objects Recognize and identify numbers 1 to 10. Count from 1 to 9 and 9 to 1. Identify the value of 0. First of all, we are going to learn how to count numbers. First, we learn to count from number 1 to 10. Here we have one flower. We say it's number one. We can see two teddy bears here. We say it's number two. How many leaves are here? There are three. We say it's number three. Shall we count the next number? One, two, three, four. It's number four. There are four balloons. What is the next number? One, two, three, four, five. There are five frogs. It's number five. What is the number after five? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's number six. There are six oranges. Let's count the next number. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. It's number seven. There are seven birds. Then what is the number after seven children? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. There are eight bats, so it's number eight. We counted numbers up to ten. Now we are going to learn how can we write numbers. We can write numbers as a numeral or as a word. Let's take number five. Here you can see how number five is written as a numeral, and here as a word. Like number five, we can write all the numbers as numerals and as words. Now we are going to count numbers forward and backward. Let's start to count from one to nine. I want you all to count with me. One, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन we counted forward counting forward means moving ahead did you see the direction okay now we are going to count backwards from 9 to 1 let's start from number 9 9 8 7 Six, five, four, three, two, one. We counted numbers forward and backward. Now we have to count these objects and write the number. First, we have pots. Shall we count how many pots? One, two, three, four. There are four pots. Next, we are going to count cars. One, two, three. There are three cars. Shall we count some more objects? Here we have balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven balls. Next we have hats. There are lots of hats. Let's count and see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. There are ten hats. Now we are going to count how many taps. Shall we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many? There are eight taps. Okay, let's count how many houses. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many houses? Six houses. Shall we do a small activity? Count and circle the right number. Here we have monkeys. Let's count and see how many monkeys. One, two, three, four, five. What is the correct number? It's number five. We circled number five. Next, we have bulbs. Let's count and see how many. One, two, three, four. There are four bulbs. How many? There are four bulbs. Shall we count some more objects? Here we have lots of books. Let's count and see how many books. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many books? There are ten books. So we are going to circle the number ten. Next, we have lots of trees. Shall we count and see? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. How many trees? There are nine trees. We are going to circle the number nine. Now we have two circles. We have penguins in the first circle and we have crabs in the second circle. First, we will count how many penguins are in the first circle. Did you count? One, two. How many penguins? There are two penguins. Now we are going to count how many crabs. Shall we count? One, two, three, four. How many crabs? Four crabs. We are going to count dolphins and seahorses. Do you like to count? There are lots of dolphins. Can you guess how many? Let's count and see how many dolphins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We counted nine dolphins. There are nine dolphins. Shall we count how many seahorses? One, two, three, four, five. How many seahorses? There are five seahorses. Now we are going to learn about zero. Do you know what is zero? Does it have a value? Here we have two different animals. First one an ant, second one a snake. What about their legs? The ant has six legs. Shall we count? One, two, three, four, five, six. The ant has six legs. What about the snake? Does it have legs? Does it have legs? The snake has no legs. We say that it has zero legs. Zero. Zero means nothing. Empty. We can write zero in words as zero. Let's do this activity and learn more about zero. We have a circle of different objects here. Let's count them separately and see how many are there. We have fairies, birds, dogs. Shall we count? First, we are going to count fairies. One, two, three. How many fairies? There are three fairies. Next, we are going to count birds. One, two. There are two birds. How many dogs? One, two, three. Four, five. There are five dogs. Next, we have to count elephants. But do we have elephants? No. We don't have elephants in the circle. So, answer is zero. As there are no elephants in the circle, we put zero here. No elephants. So, it's zero. Okay, children, now we are going to fill this table. What is the missing number? In the first row, we have the numeral 
it's number 8. What is this? Number 8. So we are going to write the word 8 here. 8. Next we have this number. Can you read the word? Yes, it's number 5. Next, what is this number? Can you read? Yes, it's number 9. Next, we have this number. Do you know what is this number? Yeah, it's number 4. If 4, you are 4. T W O. What is this number, children? Two. It's number two. This one. Do you know this number? Yes, it's number one. O N E. Number one. This one. Do you know this number? Yes, it's number 10. Number 10. Can you read this? Last row. S-C-V-E-N. Yes, it's number 7. Number 7. Okay. We have filled our table. This is what I have brought you today from the lesson numbers. And we learned numbers from 1 to 10 today. Hope you all enjoyed the lesson. Thank you for watching.